Platypus by Chris Riddell. What a great day for collecting, said Platypus. He opened a special box and took out his collection of favorite things. Hmm, not bad, he said, but I need something else. Platypus picked up his bucket and spade and his picnic lunch. He set off for his favorite collecting place. He didn't know what else he needed, but he was sure he'd know when he saw it. Platypus found some seaweed. Mmm, too slimy. He found a rock. Too big. He found an old shoe. Very tempting, he said. But I've got one already. Platypus found lots of interesting things, but none of them were quite right. I wonder what time it is, he thought. He looked in his bucket. <gasps> Lunch time! After lunch, Platypus built a sandcastle. Hmm, not bad, he said. I can take it home for my collection. But he couldn't. He picked up his bucket and a large curly shell fell out onto his toe. Perfect, said Platypus. Just what I was looking for. This is what was missing from my collection, he said happily. Something to remind me of the sea. Platypus took the curly shell home and put it in his special box. All that collecting has made me sleepy, he said yawning. Time for bed. The next morning, when Platypus took, looked in his special box, the large curly shell had gone. He couldn't see it anywhere. That's very strange, he said. Platypus searched everywhere for his shell. He found an old sandwich and a tickling stick and another old shoe, but no shell. Oh dear, sighed Platypus. I'll have to find another shell for my collection. He set off for the beach again. On the way, Platypus saw something that looked familiar. That's just like my curly shell, he said. It is my curly shell. How did you get here? He picked up the shell and ran home. The next day, the curly shell had disappeared again. Platypus looked inside, but it wasn't there. He looked outside, but it wasn't there either. Hmm, said Platypus, scratching his head. He went to his favorite thinking place and cooled his feet. He could never think with hot feet. Ouch, he cried, leaping up. Something pinched him on the toe. It was a hermit crab inside his curly shell. Oh, said Platypus to the little crab. I'm sorry. If I had known the shell was your home, I would never have collected it. Platypus took the curly shell back to the sea in his bucket. The hermit crab quickly scuttled off. Platypus found a beautiful speckled shell in the sand and look in, looked inside. It was very dark in there. Hello? Is anyone at home? He said. There was no answer. He held the shell to his ear. He could hear the sea. Perfect, said Platypus. The end.